presenting presenting our officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Bobby Celso, national referee. Second referee, Mr. Erlindo Eusebio, national referee. Let's call on our starting lineup. From our Charity Go crossovers. Let's begin with jersey number eight, Ia, Ea, Laure. At number nine, Energy Laure. Wearing jersey number 11, Alina Joyce Bicar. At number 16, Serena Grace Carandang. Wearing jersey number 17, Seth Marion Rodriguez. And at number 23, Maria Shaya Adorador. Starting libero is number 24, Budding Duremdes. Head coach, Mr. Emilio Kung Fu Reyes Jr. Calling on our strong group athletics team. Let's begin with our team captain. She wears jersey number 14, Dolly Grace Versosa. At number five, Noeli Sardena. Number seven, Justine Andrea Rebleza. Number nine, Chelsea Ann Kaole. Number 11, Shika Espinosa. And number 17, Mary Joyce Ono Mary Joy Onofre. Starting libero is number three, Melanie Romero. Head coach, Mr. Rogelio, coach Onyok Etigan. This match is under the supervision and regulation of the games and amusement board. Match number five. Yeah, some changes for the starters of Cherry Tigo. It's Ian Laude with Shai Adorador, Seth Rodriguez, Alina Picar, Budin Guremdes, Zaharandang, and EJ Laure. They're wearing white, the complimentary red and black for today. And as for strong group, we're seeing a new starter in Eli Certeña. They're talking about her floor defense in the previous outing. She obviously impressed her coach. Uh, she joins Joy Onofre, Chica Espinosa, Chum Scaole, Mel Romero, and uh, of course, team captain. Dolly Versosa is still there. She did lead the way with six points in their conference opener versus the Petrogas Angels. Strong group will go onto the right pin, dug up right there by Alina Bicar. Shaya Durador met at the net. And here's Aya Laure for the first point in this match. Well, you know, we heard in the pregame that the strong group had, what, eight days to practice? Then one day with, like you said, their new setters. So mm -hmm. the struggles of this team. So what they want today against a veteran team in Cherry, you know, do you want to just follow the system and you know, follow the program of coach and just you know, try to play your game. Dolly Versosa just scored her first point in this matchup. I had a word with her before this game. She said, happy naman si Coach Onyok with what they uh, showed us in the PVL opener. It's really more of their offense that they would want to improve mm -hmm, for this mm -hmm. matchup. And so our eyes are once again on their setter in Chams Kaole. As she tries to connect with everybody wearing blue. Shaya Adorador, coverage was there by EJ Laure. Here's her sister, ball put up by strong group. Espinosa pushes, Buding keeping it alive. Rodriguez straight to the back, Kaole putting it up. Left pin, Dolly Versosa, two points now for strong group. So that's a good start for their captain, Dolly Versosa. Now we did feature her in the pregame, so she's not disappointing us and the fans of strong group. This is a team that is trying to prove themselves here in the PVL as their first stint. Most of them, of course, are making uh, their first pro appearance. Sardenia with a service error, though. But you did mention uh, a different six for Coach Kung Fu and Cherry. You know, they have the luxury. If you look at the bench, obviously a very deep bench. You can actually put two teams in, put two starters. That's how good they are. But that's the luxury they have right now. They can play and use their bench. That always makes me imagine what the practices are like for Cherry Tigo. Their first six going up against the second six and how competitive it can be. The buzzer just sounded. There would be a challenge here. 
As you know, Coach Kung Fu is the type to not shy away from using these <laughs> challenges. Why not? But early, early challenge though for Coach Kung Fu. Oh, we have a green card, a fair play card. So, for those of you who are new to that con concept, the Ringo will now be breaking down <laughs> what the fair play card is in volleyball. If, let's say, the opponent will challenge a certain play, let's say block touch, okay, before th they, we actually go to the challenge, the video challenge, if the opponent admits to the fault that merits an automatic green card, which is fair play, it's like umamin. And usually there's a reward at the end of the season to whichever team has the most number Cash of uh, yeah, green cards. I don't know how much, but it certainly adds some motivation to using it. Shiga Espinosa just scored from the right pin. Well, it's a good start for a strong group. You like what you see. You know? We're, you're saying um, Coach Getigan very happy with the way they're progressing, and so far they're looking good here in the first set. It's 3 all here in set number one. Team captain Dolly Verzosa. 5-5 five, five, Spiker serving that ball in. Alina Bicar gives it left. EJ Laure will break down the wall. <laughs> That's just a smart hit by, by Laure. I mean, it's not the most perfect set, but she just gets it through the blockers. And may I just say, I'm so happy that we're getting to see Alina Bicar yeah, yeah, play agree. again. It's been a while. I, I agree. And she has so much chemistry already with these uh, former USD Golden Tigresses. We're just hoping, like, Jaime Hernandez will recover quick. Mm -hmm. And also, when we talked about the, the injuries, really, it's a part of the game. Eh? So you really try, have to try as much as possible to take care of your health. You know, the coaches, the, the, med, the PTs. That time, it's EJ Laure who scored again from the usual left side. Mm. It's 5-3 to three as Seth Rodriguez continues to serve. Seth came off the bench in the previous game, starting in set number two, and tallied two points. Good block by Cherry Tigo. Kaole off to the quick. Shaya sends it through. Dolly keeping it alive. Left pin push. The Bleza <laughs> causing some scramble there. The ball Dali. back to the side of strong group, and that's outside for Espinosa. Espinosa asking for a check there. No challenge. Okay. <laughs> Come stays. So after the three all start, a quick three points on the side of Jerry Tigo. Which means Seth Rodriguez is still serving for us. Yeah. Ball in. Rososa receives. Kaole onto the quick. Bit of a chase for Ea Laure. Rodriguez sending it through. Chance ball for Strong Group. Jumps. Ooh, was there a net touch? by a crossover. Yeah, Laure actually admitted to that. Now let's take this time to listen in to Kayla Castillo. From being a captain in the collegiate league, she is now braving the pros as the captain of a young team. She's Dolly Versosa and she says that she's ready for more. After their first loss against the Petrogas Angels, Dolly figured that it was communication that was lacking in the team. Medyo nahihiya pa kasi ako that time but na-realize ko na kailangan kong magsalita, mag-step up para magkaintindihan kami sa loob. It's my role and that is what I will do, she says. Furthermore, she says that it's their goal for today to just enjoy and let no pressure hinder them from giving their all. This report is brought to you by the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now or watch via filipinaslive.com and experience PVL Games Live and in HD and commercial free anytime and anywhere in the world. Now back to you, Ms. Marie. You have to appreciate that reminder from Kyla Castillo as Cherry Tigo scores here because remember, this is a team that's not only trying to enjoy but if you continue exhibiting that type of culture, you never know, you might see a set or even a game against the rest of our pros. It's 8 to 4 as we head on to our first technical timeout.
It is eight to four in favor of Cherry Tigo against Strong Group. Espinosa sends it to the back at the net. Onofre could not put that ball down. Attack by Repleza. It works down the line for Just. I like what I see. You're talking about Rebleza. Her power, her approach, you know. She can only get better throughout the games that she's going to play, but she looks good for her strong group. And certainly a good sign because Rebleza only had one point for her tally in the previous game. EJ Laure straight to the back. Onofre keeping it alive. Chased by Eddie Cerdeña, and it's all worth it. Another point for Just. Well, you can see strong group right now, no? as compared to their first game, they're fighting. You know, I guess they, they did some adjustments during training. Coach Gatigan probably said, you have to have confidence in yourselves. You know, believe in yourselves and just, like we heard in the, in the report, enjoy yourselves. Six to eight, back-to-back -back points for strong group. Durendis will send it to Shia. Back row hit, and the defense wasn't able to prevail. Yeah, these are the adjustments they have to make when you look at the defense pattern. They were too close to each other at the back, see? In the, right in the center. So you have to adjust that and then communicate. You have to call mine. It's now nine serving six. EJ Laure. Verzosa with the receive. Kaole onto the middle there. Off of a combination on the other end. It's a middle hit by Zakaranda. Oh, we will see a lot of that, I'm sure, Bikar. She misses, or she missed because of her injury. She missed these ball distributions, these combination plays. If you actually zoom in a bit to Alina Bikar, you can see that the left knee is still wrapped yeah. up. Yeah. But I'm sure that's just precaution for her. We do not want any more injuries to happen for Alina. Ea Laure, oh, not much dig. power. Counter, Rebleza, the ball hit the antenna. Uh, wasted opportunity. We saw an excellent dig by Dali Versosa there. They have a substitution. Off of that error committed from the left pin, Jana Kane checks in for the first time. She did come off the bench, having scored four points versus Petrogaz. Kaole. Onto the quick, Ellie was rejected, and that's a block point for Zakaranda. Well, you know, if you're a strong group, I'm sure you've studied Cherry. You have to know if Zakaranda is there, coverage has to be there. You have a timeout. Paikuti mo siya doon, no? Paikuti mo siya. Paikuti mo siya sa sing. Kung nahihirapan ka. Kung hindi mo, walang option. Back row attack. Kasi dalawang spiker lang, eh. Run siya. Mag Pwede siya mag-run. Tapos si. Eh, yes, GA. Coach Onyok Getigan, of course, very decorated in high school volleyball coaching for Kings Montessori and uh, he also actually had a stint for Farm Fresh assisting for coach Jerry Yee. This is a guy by the way who's known for developing players mm -hmm. even if you're starting from scratch. Players like Julia Ipa and Donny Bernardo mm. they've come a long way. It's good that you mentioned that. No? You also want to get to know the coaches and the journey that they go through. Hey, Laure. That's outside. Boy, well, Ea Laure has really slimmed down. Now compared to her collegiate days, it's like she's so lean. So you can see really the, the preparation of these athletes in the off season. Eh? For Charity Go, they have big aspirations for this conference. Of course, you'd want to get yourself a title, which they actually did back in the Bakara bubble. As Zakarandam scores for them. But that was a different looking team with the Santiago <laughs> sisters. Yeah, you see the total revamp actually. I think the only one remaining was, was it Doremdas and Paat? Well, one of those, one of those. Tip here for Dolly Verzosa. Alina, back row for Shaya. Song group keeps it alive. Lakauko, Kaole, Verzosa. Oh, good Straight day. to Barandang. 
Oh, it's a miss hit by Seth Rodriguez. Double contact. If I were Karandang, I'd hit <laughs> Seth Rodriguez. <laughs> Excellent dig. <laughs> Well, they do have a five-point advantage, 13 to 8. So it still is a comfortable cushion for Cherry Tigo. But you like that Seth Rodriguez gets the start because we know she's talented, but now she's getting her confidence to play and, you know, to start actually for Cherry. And these types of games might actually allow Coach Kung Fu to discover a future star yeah. in terms of maybe a future starter for him. Why not? But Song Group just scored. Well, they'll take it. The hitting error by EJ Laure. Service by Kaole. Picar will give it up to Ea. That's a check. Yeah, pretty obvious check there. 14 serving nine now. One more look. Off of the hands of Eli Sardinia. The girl we talked about in the pregame. <laughs> the digger. <laughs> the digger. The middle blocker digger <laughs> for strong group. It's an ace for Alina Picard. Oh, that's why we say, you know, the setters, you should always know where the ball is because that can happen. It trickles over the net. And the closest is really normally the setter. 15 to 9. Received by Jana, well put up there by Cherry Tigo, and here's Ea Laure. The dig. Kane, once again, continuing the rally, and it leads on to a Dolly versus a hit. But she's so different as compared to her first game. You feel, you know, she's embraced now the fact that, okay, I'm the team captain, we, we heard in the report. She has to play her game. Two-time best outside hitter, so she's bringing it today. And might I say, that 5-5 five, five frame should only make it even more impressive yeah. for us to be convinced of how good Dolly Versosa is. Combination, though, on the other end for Cherry Tigo. And that will send us to the second technical timeout. We are inside the Smart Arenata Coliseum in Cubao, featuring Charity Tigo versus Strong Group. The Athletics down by six points here in the opening set. But would you say that uh, mm -hmm. what they have been showing us is still impressive to your eyes? Are you talking about Strong Group? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're down by six, yes. But you see, you know, attack points. We were talking about the need for them to increase that, the work on that, because in their last game, nobody actually had double digits or scored in double figures. So that's a little target that they want to achieve today. So you're seeing it, like Dali Versos is playing well. You're hoping the others will, will follow suit. And I brought it up as well, as they allow it gives us a service error. Because in the first game of Strong Group, Dali Versosa shared to me mm. that they actually expected to only score four, six points what? in the set. Yeah. And then they impressed everybody, so why not continue with that high level of play? Yeah, I, I think their mentality should also be we have nothing to lose, so enjoy and just mm -hmm. play our game. They have certainly showed out. Kane's attack was red, and here's Ea Lawler. Mm. Back row hit, we shall continue. Romero sending it to the other side. Bicar will choose Shaya Adorador for the point. Well, with the help of the blockers' his hands, Adorador gets the, the point for, for Cherry Tigo. 17 to 11 now. There's a lot of UST and UE connections happening here in the first set for Cherry Tigo. 
And then, of course, Zakharandang representing FEU Diliman. Mm. Oh, it's a service ace. You know, the aces really are not the tough serves. Eh? It's just a shank of the pass by uh, Espinosa there. I mean, this, these are the things you don't want to see <laughs> from strong group. If you if the opponents like Cherry gets a block, okay. If they get a kill, okay. But the, the these not so tough serves, you have to pass it better. It's now a five to a five to one run for Cherry Tigo. Uh, Skane attacks. It's short though. Well, these errors piling up for a strong group. That's why uh, Cherry is slowly pulling away here in the first set. 19-11, Seth Rodriguez continuing to serve. So she's had some good stretches there at the service line. <laughs> yeah, this is actually a good rotation for them. Received by Jean Licauco. Middle hit by Onofre. Read well by Zacharanda. Left in, Kane. Was there a check? The answer is no. Well, it happened right in front of the first referee, so... She tried to plead her case to no avail. And so now just the Bleza will be returning for strong group. And Seth Rodriguez will continue to serve. <laughs> Seth in this game. Let's see her numbers. Good dig. A good receive, actually. Ooh, no dig for Seth. I was looking for Tali. She has one point so far. Zakarandang leads the way with four for Cherry Tigo. Dolly Berzosa on the other end has three. Well, Kurokawa got to the left. You want to serve tough today. Yumi serving that ball in. And here's EJ Laure against two defenders. No problem. Well, Cherry has been kind of successful here going through the blockers, going over the blockers. That's an again. Ngayon pala papasok si Bailey pa. <laughs> Double sub with Joy Me Cagante. Joy Me, by the way, in the recent PNBF Champions League was a lone natural setter for Cherry Tigo because Arena Bigar was still recovering yeah. at that time. A. Lauren was their second setter. So Nabor is still injured, right? Yes. He's also trying to recover and hoping for the best in terms of her return. Speedy return, and now it's my lead pad. But I'm not sure if she liked that set. <laughs> Either way, it's a point. You were just, just talking about a speedy return. What about this speedy hit by Mylene Paad? No need for warming up, right? <laughs> I'll get the point. Now a 10 point advantage for Cherry Tigo 22 to 12. Rebleza could not score. Join me onto the left pin, a bit tight, but still it works for Cherry Tigo. Yeah, you see that as the weakness of strong group here. The drops, you know, the coverage. Really, nobody home. So then when you see that slow-mo, you have to realize, you have to help each other. If the middle blocker, like Onofre, is closer to the ball, she has to try to get it. Dig by Buding. EJ, Palo, Sigaw na kanyo makakampi. That's what she did. Well, everyone's getting a touch here for Cherry Tigo. It's now five points in this game for EJ Laure. She's the new leading scorer for the crossovers. Joy Mika Gande serves with the help of the net. It's an ace. The net has been good to Cherry here in the first set. It's 25 to 12. As our tally for the opener. Float serve. Straight there to the tape. Very comfortable start for Cherry Tigo. Let's see if they can continue this momentum in the second set. We'll be back.
this year inside the Smart Araneta Coliseum in Cubao. And so, Naringo, can you tell us the story of set number one? What happened there in favor of Cherry Tiger? Well, at the, at the start, we have to say that the strong group actually had a very good outing. You know, their, their start was strong. It was tied at three all. But then you see that Cherry Tigo crossovers, they're just so relaxed. I guess it's because there's no pressure. They know it's a new team. But still, they're doing their job. The Laures have been scoring Paat off the bench in the middle. So, Bikar and Kagande for a bit. Doing a great job in ball distribution. Everybody just looks so calm, right? Like it's, like, it's like, okay, we're going to win this. We're going to take care of the lead. And they're just following what Co Coach Kung Fu obviously has been telling them. EJ Laura leads the way with five points. Karandang has four and Aya has three to her name. As you take a look at some statistics in set number one. Yeah, it's a dominant in terms of attacks, 15 to 7. You know, all categories actually pointing really to a Cherry Tigo. First set win, lock aces, and less errors. But I, I think for, for a strong group, what you want is, again, to improve on your attacks. Maybe get a block, you know. But the net, we have to say, has been so kind to Jerry. Yeah, right? even the last service ace. The last service ace. So with strong group, you know these things happen. Your defense really has to adjust. You, you can't just accept the fact, oh, swear it. No, you have mm -hmm. to you know, at least put, put in the effort. We're seeing the same faces here for strong group in set number two. And the same applies for Cherry Tigo. We haven't seen Abby Marano nor Aragalang so far in this matchup. And there's a lot more stars in that bench, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Jen Yerva. Princess Robles. Princess Robles. Pauline Gaston. Mylene Pat had a brief appearance. Made her impact. She did score. But now we have... Chumps Kaole serving to begin things for set number two. This is Mix Gomez, by the way, alongside Noreen Go and Kaila Castillo at your service for the first game of the BBL triple header. Seth Rodriguez scores the first point of set number two. We, we will, like we said, we did, we will see a lot of that because Bikar slowly but sure, surely getting into the game, you know, after a long bout with uh, an injury. So. You're gonna see her, you know, try to be more creative, try to take chances. I remember how effective she was as the setter for Cherry Tigo before she got injured. There were a lot of uh, crucial games when she would distribute the ball very well. Yeah, Even some yeah. semifinals matches against the top teams in the league. Adorador, good block by Strong Group. Back set this time on to Aya Lauren. And no more chase for just Rebleza. Again, the drops, you know, Cherry's playing, that's how relaxed they are. They see these holes of a strong group. So strong group, you know they have that, the drops. Again, a little bit more. At least, it, at least there's a person or a player closer to the ball. So a little bit more adjustments on the side of strong group. Step by step yeah. for the athletics. Four points for Aya. That could have been her fifth. Chance ball given up. Aya, Alina, Seth, straight to the middle. Why not go to Rodriguez? <laughs> That's three points now in this game for Seth Rodriguez. I'm looking at uh, Alina Bicar enjoying talking to her teammates. I'm sure she's going to have something up her sleeve. Service. By Aya, Likauko with the receive. Not the best of receives though. Chica Espinosa going cross. And that dropped in front of Coach Kung Fu Reyes. Well, is that Espinosa's first point, right? She used to play second point. Yes. She used to play for UP, I remember. And then transferred to. Start to T. TIP? No. But anyway. We'll get back to yeah. that. She's been around. She's been around. And it, it's really nice to have her here in the PBL. Bit of a scramble there for Charity Tigo. A point for SGA. Well, they worked for that point. <laughs> Talking about the uh, strong group. There's Sosa from the back. Boy, does she have to be really creative with her hits. <laughs> also for strong group, you have to realize now, yes. Cherry is playing very relaxed, but this is when you want to take advantage. Gugulatin mo bigla. EJ sending it through. 
Two defenders were there, and that's really tight. Yeah, a bit of a miscue there in terms of defense. It's only a one point lead, by the way, for Cherry Tigo. But again, this is the rotation <laughs> that usually gives them a huge advantage with Seth Rodriguez serving. Ball in, straight to Dolly. Nice receive. Yeah. To the middle they went. Alina with the dig. EJ, off speed. Ball put up by the Blesa. And here's Espinosa. Miss Q for Cherry Digo. Oh, another good start here for a strong group. Espinosa, back to back points. Yeah, that was clear in the slow mo. That was, that was Seth Rodriguez's ball. For all now, so at least strong group has broken the spell in terms of uh, the rotation advantage for Cherry Tigo. But that was a quick retribution by Zacharanda. Well, the middles are busy here in this match. Seth Rodriguez and Zacharanda getting a lot of touches. Ball up by Likaupo. Kaole opening up. Ayan Laure, keeping it alive. EJ, cross. Yes, ma'am. Great ball distribution once again for Alina Bekar. And you know, if you're just responding for Cherry, that's what you want to see. At seven points now in this game for EJ Laure. And you did mention the net has been a lot kinder <laughs> to Cherry Tigo. Another ace. Point net. <laughs> Point net. Point goes that, to net. That, that's what, two, three points already <laughs> for the net in this match? Seven to four. Shaya Adorador. Pick out over the receive. Chumps. Back row. Eya. Digging it up. Karandang again. Another point for Zach. Uh, defense a bit slow to react for a strong group. This is actually the same storyline as the one. Chai has three points so far to her name. Oh. Miss received by Jean Likalpo. Fight uncharacteristic there. EJ putting it up. One, two for Alina. Scramble for strong group. Chance ball for the white shirts. EJ, lefty push. Yes. <laughs> when in doubt, just tip it to the middle, and they have been successful yet again. EJ continues to score at will for Cherry Tigo. Now nearing double digits for this matchup. 9 to 4. Shaya. Service in. Shika with the receive. Attack in the middle. Good rejection by Zakarandang. Chumps. Left pin hit there. But they keeping it alive and it's all worth it. Alina Vicar with good eyes as well. Straight to zone number five. They have been using their volleyball wits, talking about Cherry. They have a timeout. The score is 10 to 4. Ulit ulit lang yun. 
Uwit, uwit lang talaga yan. So here comes the challenge for a strong group. How do you keep your morale high against Cherry Tigo, who have been coasting in this game, mm. have been looking very comfortable, as you have been describing. Then you did say it's similar to what happened in the first set. That was close at the start, but then Cherry just <laughs> pulls away. Medyo nanlamig lang si Shaya Adorador, which is a usual tendency off of challenges and timeouts. But now, let's turn you over to Kyla Castillo for this report. Thank you, Mix. Well, apart from their usual warm-up routine, making fun and trendy TikTok seems to be the part of their pre-game shenanigans and who's none other than ang pangampasimuno ay si Chang Abby Marani, who's fitting right in. She says, and I quote, everything smooth sailing. Well, this is because from coaches to teammates, they all already have been playing together. Nonetheless, she believes that while they are fully equipped, further improving their leadership on the court would not hurt. This report is brought to you by the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now or watch watch via filipinaslive.com and experience PVL games live in HD and commercial free anytime and anywhere in the world. Back to you, Mix and Rain. So it's smooth sailing from the locker room onto the court yes. for Cherry Tigo. And now it's the first appearance of Aragala in this matchup. He checks in alongside Joy Mikagande and Maylin Paat. Well, again, Coach Kung Fu opting to use his bench. <laughs> you gotta <laughs> love the fans. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Anticlimactic <laughs> entrance there. But you like, if you look at Aragala, we have to mention she has embraced the red and black, the shoes and the hair. That's right. Champions League pa lang ganyan ng ganyang outfit. And she has looked so good. But a couple of the best players of uh, the game honors already to her name. Ea Laure, hammer time. <laughs> hammer time. Again, we did say, you know, Cherry's gonna go through a lot of combinations if they can. <laughs> you see that uh, Melanie Romero tried to do her best. Good form, though. Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> enough. 12 serving six, Zakarandam. That's in. Oh. Mr. C, it's an ace. And as you were saying that, Princess Robles, we have to mention in as well for Cherry. Former finals MVP in the UAAP. And speaking of MVPs, Abby Marano checks in for Cherry Tigo. You know, I love what Co Coach Kung Fu is doing because technically you have a comfortable lead. You can opt to rest the, your senior players in Abby Marano, but for the fans, I'm sure, who came to watch them, they're gonna make them play. Aragalam, back row, yes, ma'am. So that's one thing she obviously developed not throughout her career in F2, her power. It came back, and she is still bringing it here to Cherries. And it seems like there's a whole section of Aragalam fans <laughs> behind us. The cheers are so different when it's her hitting the ball. Kaole opening up, and Rezosa answers back. That's a badly needed point by strong group. Yeah, not the strongest, but a point is a point. That's against Maili Paat and Abi Maranio. Kaole serves, received by Princess, and there's Mama P. Bit of an awkward landing, but she's good. Shika. Going cross, Aragalang keeping it alive. Join me to the open. Down the line for Cesc Robles. You know, a player with one of the most explosive approaches. Princess Robles gets the point. And again, no need to warm up for Princess Robles. 15 to 7. This, by the way, is the second unit of the Cherry Tigo <laughs> crossovers. Jen Yerva is also in as their libero. Shika Espinosa rejected at the net. One more chance for Strong Group. Shika able to score against Joymi and Abby. That's a smarter hit. Obviously, looking at your blockers, there's a smaller blocker, and that's who you target. It's Joymi Kagande. I'm sure knows the fact that she will be challenged at the net. 
That time around, Chica prevailed. Now, Sedenya serves that ball in. Back set by Lean Baat. That's an MVP type of play. Yeah. But those are the options. You have Galang and Baat from the back. <laughs> Second technical timeout, 16 to. That's a signal play. Cherry Tigo now is up 16 to 8, and it's a late Valentine's gift for Chark Abi Baradio. Uh, that was made possible by that serve of Robles, we have to say. And if you give an overpass to Abi Marano, you know what's going to happen. <laughs> and rightfully so, they celebrated after that point. Says Robles with another serve, but the Chief. Commit the service violation? A foot fault, maybe? There's a challenge on the call. Now there's a challenge. Well, the first referee is saying that there was a violation. But now it seems like Cherry Tigo will concede. Okay. No challenge. No challenge. <laughs> Dolly Berzosa now serves that ball straight to Cess. Kagande, signature Abi Maranyo. Not much power though, <laughs> but still, it's a slide. She will get there. <laughs> she will, the, at least you saw the approach, not the perfect set for her. And what made me say the word signature is the anticipation of the fans as Pauline Gaston checks in for the first time. Nararamdaman mo na humihinga ng malalim yung fans sa likod eh. As they're uh, anticipating that Abi Maranyo slide. That at all. Patented Abby, Abby Marana slide. Kaole to the open. That sounded well, but boy, what a dig by Abby Marano. Coverage for Cherry Tigo. Abby clears out. Aragalam. Ball kept alive by Shika Espinosa. Counter. Rebleza. Pancake save by Mama P. And Cesc Robles will give up a chance ball. Longest rally so far. Rebleza. Aragalam. And no more chase there for Bolin Gaston. Well, that's a good rally that, you know, strong group actually won. They worked for that point. And we did say Rebleza, they're looking good. There's a lot of potential. That's three points now in this game for just Rebleza behind Espinosa and Verzosa as the top scorers for strong group. Service error, though, for Shika. But that's got to hurt. You know, it's not easy to score points against Cherry. Then you get the point, then you give it right back with that error. 19 to 10, Joy Mikagante now be serving. The lefty sending that ball short. Back to back service errors, <laughs> left and right. Well, you did say Valentine's gifts. So that's one, that's another <laughs> one from Cherry. Yung mga pahabol. As now, Nikki Baldizanzo will be serving, challenging the defense of Mylene Paat and the rest of Charity Tigo. That's in, straight to Cess. Join me, Mylene, straight to the back. Kaole. Back row hit, it's low for Shika. Back to back errors there. Now, these are the things you want to correct if you're strong group, right? You, you have good. Good attackers, great defenders, but the errors you want to correct. Ayumi Furukawa now returns for strong group, the former Ateneo Blue Eagle. He actually has three former Blue Eagles in this lineup, still wearing blue, representing wearing strong blue. group. Oh, tough dig. Could have been an easy ball for Ellie to no avail. Gaston on the other end, 
And here's the counter. Rebleza, check ball or not? The answer is yes. And that touch as well on the t uh, for Pauline Gastoniak. She admits that. Either way, it's a point for strong group as Rebleza will now be serving. 12 to 20. Just sends that ball straight to Jen. Miss receive. I think that's her first ace. So that's a. Uh, it's the first ace. First ace, right? Of the whole team. Yeah. So they're going to welcome that with open arms. Another service. Oh, back to back for Justin Bleza. Well, you can't make her your service specialist <laughs> because she's a very strong attacker. But uh, that's a strength we're now seeing for strong group. Better receive that time by Lean Pot punishing the defense of strong group. That was in. Yeah, you don't envy strong group. Eh? If you're the defenders, you're going to see. Who are we gonna defend? Who are we gonna gui uh, guard there and Jerry? Everyone is a threat. Exactly. <laughs> From the first unit to the second unit. Whatever unit. Pauline Gaston. That's in. Romero got to receive. Die by Pauline. Aragala will give up a free ball. Melanie. Chumps on two. Team captain Rizosa to no avail. We shall continue. Rebleza. Kaole onto the quick straight zone number one for Eddie Sardinia. Well, now you're seeing, you know, with strong group, they're enjoying themselves and they're actually scoring. So, you know, they, when you when they're playing at this level, you can see it. That they're you know they're playing a lot better. It's 21 to 15. By Lean Pa. If she's near the net, if she's far from the net, <laughs> if she's at the back, she's at the back. <laughs> no, but that <laughs> was a clear case of uh, intimidated. When they saw Mylene Pat, it's like strong group froze it. Yeah. No, it wasn't the strongest of hits, but still, they just watched it. Kaole, push, Mylene able to save it. Back set by Abby Marano. And Cesc oh, yes. Robles will score. Now everyone again getting their touches. The Gande doing the same thing that Alina Bikar has been doing. Almost everybody has scored already on the side of Kerry Pigo. Yeah, it's all of them except Nerva, Gaston, and Durevdes. Cross court, Jet puts it up. Here's Aragala. Nice block by Ellie Sardinia. No, these are the, the things you want to see. You know, the little things you want to see, the challenge. And she is a tall middle blocker, so she has to have some block points. Not just digs. Yeah, it has to be digs. blocks as well for Ellie. 16-23. Sardinia is now at the back row. Ball up by Cesc Robles. She's blocked. Good net defense by Strong Group. Mylene. Did you feel it again? <laughs> that uh, Strong Group kind of froze? Not, no, that was a, a, a legit kill by okay, Mylene okay. Pat. And Elliot tried to get that. And again, wherever she may come from, more often than not, Mylene Pat will deliver the best of hits. Cesc Robles. Service in, Romero got the ball, here's Furukawa, down the line target, Nerva with the dig, Amaraño reached that ball and is able to cross, here's Osa, straight to Galang, Abby, the rally continues, Kaole, back row, and no more save for Cherry Digo. Yeah, so these plays by a strong group, slowly but surely, you know, they're getting their kills, they're getting more comfortable out there. They save a set point. It's now 24 to 17. Dolly Verzosa will be serving. Straight to Aragala. Back set. Abby, a bit tight, but it still works. Yeah, the joust at the net goes in favor of the captain, Abby Marano. 25 17. There it is. Final point of set number two. It was 
obviously closer compared to set number one. Strong, strong group would gladly take that. It's two sets to none in favor of Cherry Tigo against Strong Group, but it was a bit of a closer set number two with a difference of five points for the Athletics. Noreen, what impressed you the most from the side of Strong Group first and then Cherry Tigo right. later on? Well, in the first set, no, we have to say it was close and then Cherry pulled away. It, at least in the second set, that we had the same or similar start. But we saw a bit of those in the middle when they tried to, to catch uh, Cherry or Chase. That's why they had the good 17. We saw the blocks, you know, we saw the different attackers. It's not just Dani or Sosa, right? So that's what you want to see. You, obviously, for strong group, they have the potential. You know, they, they're slowly but surely, but surely they will realize it. But it's going to be work in progress. But at least you see that uh, little by little in the match. Cherry, what else can you say? They're just enjoying themselves and playing really well and really light. We're going to see the numbers. But individually speaking, it's EJ Lowry who leads the way in points with nine. Zakarandak has seven. On the other end, just the Blazer was seven for Strong Group and Oliver Sosa has five. Yeah, well, if you look at the numbers, right, they have the block there. Even in aces, just two errors for them. But still, it's the attacks. They want, you know, again, as the game progresses or as the tournament progresses, you want to see more of that, more of their converting uh, the defense to offense because 21 to nine, that's, uh, that's really far. You know, no way you're going to win, even if you, you have better blocking and less errors, you have to convert your attacks. Well, you can give yourself that uh, excuse all game long that there are so many attackers of Cherry Tigo. You're here already if you're yes, strong, yes. you might as well convert against them and stop those attackers. We did see the shuffle for Coach Kung Fu Reyes, and it seems like the set number two players will continue here for Cherry Tigo. Yep, it's the 
full second unit. Everyone got to play already for Cherry. Now, again, I, I, I will say, no, I said it earlier, you love that coach Kung Fu. Obviously, it respects the fans. And you know that the fans came. We heard it when Ana Galang entered. And when Pauline Gaston entered, we heard the fans scream. So, okay, okay, I'll give it to you. I'll make them play. <laughs> Can't forget about Abby Maraño, of course, with Mylene Paat also contributing. Abby has three, by the way. Mylene has five points. Ayo Lauri has five. And uh, a couple more players have scored for them as we begin the third set with a service error. I'm actually looking forward to whether or not everybody will be able to score for Cherry Tigo. It's Nierva, Duremdes, and Gaston who haven't scored. Gaston, for sure, but it's hard for the Liberos yeah, to actually <laughs> score. It's usually the miracles yeah. when they would score. Point here for Mylene Paat. One all in set number three, and here's Ara Galang at 12 points in her first game as a Charity Go crossover in the PVL. They come up with the receive. And it's Rezosa shining through from the middle. Wow. You see, if they can go more to that in all these combination plays, then these are the things that you want, you're want. you looking forward to seeing a lot more of. Well, if we talk about these types of plays, then we have to talk about the center. Mm -hmm. How would you evaluate Chumps Kaolis' performance so far in this game? You know, for me, I'm not not very well known, but so far you like what you're seeing. You know, obviously again work in progress. A lot of things to improve on, but they're decent. I mean, they're 17 in the second set compared to 25. So decent, man. The, the performance of strong group. There you go. A decent set on Tushika Espinosa for an opposite hit and the point. After all, as you get to see a service error. Chams Kaole only had one day in order to adjust a strong group center before the season started. And in that day, they had a scheduled tune up game versus CSP. Imagine that. Tune up sa alam mo, daru aga. But I'm sure, I'm sure she's going to welcome this opportunity. Of course. Much as all of the players of strong group have. Hit outside for Cesc Robles. And how about this, a two-point advantage for SGA. Now the challenge really, and we know that, is can they sustain it? Can they sustain it? First and foremost, they have to get their serves in. There you go, it's received by Aragala. Cesc will send it through. Robles, a bit of an overdig. And Gaston couldn't score. Kaole, back to just. And she scores. 5 2. <laughs> what a start for Strong Group. And imagine what it would mean for this team, even if they just win one set. Mm -hmm. That's the, that, that's the uh, short term goal. You, know? you want to win a set first and eventually try to get your first win. Pauline. Tried to go for some retribution to no avail. Mylene Paat in her most comfortable angle. Well, when you need a point, leave it to Mylene Paat. It's a Mama P save us moment again <laughs> for Jerry <Charity. laughs> Eagle. Although it, it wasn't the worst of situations. Yeah. Still a good delivery by Mylene. Attack in the middle. Tough dig for Aragala, and it's all worth it as Walid Gaston scores. Stat one. Stat one. <laughs> but that's the last two players, the Liberos for Jerry Tigo haven't scored. Now, let's turn you over to Kyla Castillo. As mentioned earlier, the Strong Group Athletics have only been training for eight days and the short period of time they had to squeeze in training, recovering, team gelling, and getting to know one another. And as for some, particularly Ellie Cerdeña, the past few days have been all about getting a feel of what it's like being back in the pros. She stopped playing volleyball for three years, had a baby, but now she's back and she wants to contribute to SGA, not only through blockings, but through being a jolly teammate, lifting up her team. 
This report is brought to you by the Pilipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now or watch via PilipinasLive.com and experience PVL games live and in HD and commercial free anytime and anywhere in the world. Now back to you, Nixon Maria. It's always interesting to hear these types of stories. A player out of volleyball for not just one year, but three years. Yeah. And then she also had a baby. So welcome back to Eddie Sardegna. She does look good though. Uh, her shape. <laughs> but of course, uh, she wants to get even better. Yeah. And to, uh, uh, in terms game, of her performance, you know, uh, the 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 fitness level, Champion, they want to be back to game shape. Game shape, yeah. Now Cherry T goes back in game shape. By the way, it's a four to zero run for them. Things have uh, normalized a bit. Attack from the middle. Oh, good dig. That's by Romero. The Blesa couldn't score. Counter, Mylene pushing it to the back. How about the effort by Melanie Romero? Chance ball, give it up. Agande, combination, and it's Cesc Robles sending that ball to zone number one. Yeah. I mean, the defense of drug group is caught watching in that play. One blocker, nobody in zone one, like you said. Seven to five. What a run here. A 5 to 0 run now for Cherry Tigo. Service in, straight to Dolly. It's a set, Valdezan. So, wow, what a turnaround for her. Again, you see the individual, you know, individual talent from strong group. This is what you want. No? And you see eventually the gelling will become better and better. It's only their second game. Service error though for Nikki Baldizanzo. And that will lead us to the first technical timeout in set number three. Fires this Feb 25 live at the Field Sports Arena in Pasig City. Buy your tickets now. But today we are coming to you live from the Smart Araneta Coliseum in Cubao for three games. And this wonderful PBL Saturday. Later on, it's Akari versus Signal HD. We'll be followed by the defending champs, Streamline taking on Farm Fresh. Kaole. Not the best of plays there, executed by strong group, and it leads on to a counter that unfortunately sails long for Pauline Gaston. She was looking at the line really long. <laughs> <laughs> and then she said, I missed it, I missed it. No yeah, challenge but, as well. Yeah, so after today, all teams would have played already. Yes. You know? So it's a good yeah, it's a good Saturday for PBL. Service error though for Just Rebleza. Giving up another gimme. And here's Pauline Gaston. Nine to seven. Ball in, straight to Melanie. Verzosa approaches against two blockers. No point. On to the other angle, pushed by Aragalam. Chance for strong group. Sedenia is rejected. Verzosa tipping it over. Oh, good save. That's by Ara. Back row for Cess. We shall continue. Dolly deflected. Cess, join me. And there's the signature for Abby Marano. Well, it's a veteran, really, you know. If there's a little bit of scramble and they get the set, then normally they try to end that set. We saw it with Mylene Pa, and now it's Abby Marano. But we still have yet to see the down the line target yeah. off of a slide for Abby. Melanie continuing to receive. Rizosa couldn't score. Chance to counter. Abby tips it over. Good defense by Kaole. And here's Dolly Rizosa. 
able to twist her wrist there. Unfortunately, the second try goes long. You know, a bit more top spin to that hit, that would have been a smart uh, attack for Dolly Versosa. Dolly Sardegna having a word with Chomsko Ole. Let's see what they will execute here. Good pass first. Bit of a chase. Dolly going cross. Gaston keeping it alive. Left pin. It's wide for Aragala. Well, you can feel, you know, the, the errors for Cherry. And we always say, you know, for, for a team like Strong Group who's constantly chasing, you take advantage, get some stuffs here. Full front line. Oh. Unfortunately, oh. as I say that, Strong Group will not be able to maximize as Kaole gives us a, another spare. Two to eight. Here's Joy Mika Gande. Better serve. Chase for Kaole. Back row for Dolly. Good chance for Cherry Digo. Kagande on to Abby Marano. Yeah, that double quick is so lethal because if you're the defender, the blocker, who am I going to guard? <laughs> they're they're at, it at the same at time. At the same time. I love that. That play, the double quick. 13 to 8. Bit tight, but still, Shiga Espinosa was able to make the most out of that opportunity. Well, she's not perfect, but you like the fight in uh, Espinosa. And she's playing a lot better compared to her performance in the opener. Espinosa now has six points to her name. Mind you, Strong Group only had one player reach the five point mark individually versus which is, Petrogas. Which is Dali. Yeah. But Mighty Pad now ties EJ Laure <laughs> as the top scorer in this game. Well, we have to share to the, the fans and the viewers. It's hard to choose a player of the game. Oh, yeah. If everyone has played. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking at literally every stat right now to compare. But the shot continue with the action. Ball up by Kaole. Romero, that's a back row hit for Rebleza. Kagande, Nierva, opposite. And a miscue. Well, now she is the top scorer for Cherry. Ten points for Mylene Pat. And taking a look at the setters, Joy Mika Gandhi has ten excellent sets as of this point. Para ano lang, ma challenge pa na Monte si Doringo. Baldizanzo was rejected. Here's Shika, straight to Aragalam. He's been very active, by the way, defensively on the floor. Robles. And it's Cesc Robles who scores from the left pin. Second technical timeout, a chance for Noringo to once again review the stats. Twenty-four PBL All Filipino Conference every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday on One Sports, One Sports Plus, RPTV, and Filipinas Live. PBL, the heart of volleyball. It's Sherry Tigo taking on SGA and a drop for Cesc Robles. Going back to basics, you know, finding that center of strong group, which has been a very obvious weakness today. It's now an eight-point advantage for Cherry Tigo. Ball put up by Just Rebleza. Back row for Dolly. 
Jaime keeps it alive. Back set by Jen on to Sess. How about that? And your connection. Jen to Sess. Yeah, we're used to that. From, from <laughs> Jaime, by the way. <laughs> ah, from Jaime. So it's a 5 to 0 right now. We have a timeout. Binilis mo kasi ng gano'n eh, dapat tinaas mo lang. Alam niya kasi, itataas mo lang yung bola. Ah, gawa na parahan, gawa na parahan. Pasa, pasa. I choose na spike. Nasaan pa si Dali, di ba? Hey, Adley! Eighteen, serving nine, Aragala. Straight to just, bit of a chase for Kaole. That looked good already for Dolly Verzosa. Unfortunately, her hit sailed long and wide. You know when you look at that, look at Dolly Verzosa, there's a uh, she looks so humble. Oh, you know. But given that she's two-time best outside hitter, you know, what she's playing, she's so humble. Actually, even no? if you talk to her, a very nice person. Back set, Shika. Yes. Well, we did, we did commend her already, Espinosa. And one thing for a for strong group, if you have, can have Espinosa play at a consistent level, then there, there will be more fight in them. Now we have Suzanne Raslan. Coming in for the first time in this game to replace Just Rebleza. Suzanne did also appear versus Petrogas, playing in all three sets. Dolly Verzosa sets that ball straight to Jen. Slide down the line target that time, met at the net. Raslan, yes, how about that? Straight from the bench. Well, from good defense, you know, that effort there. For Dolly Versosa set that, so well-earned point for strong group. 11 serving 19. Here's Dolly. Ball up by Ara Galang. Kagande will choose Abby Marano. Dug up by Dolly Versosa. Raslan, try it again. Better net defense, Valdizanzo. Ball goes back to strong group. Suzanne. How about Mylene Paat? Able to prevail at the net. Shika sends it through. And a missed dig by Joy Migagande. Well, back to back points. That's what you want to see from strong group. Again, they did that in the second set. You want for their fans, you're hoping a little bit of light here in the third set. Well, they did score 12 points in the opening set and 17 in the second set. Let's see if they can surpass that mark yeah. at least here in the third set. Cesar Robles straight to the back off of the deflection. Romero sends it through. Chance ball, Cherry Tigo. And they choose Abby Marano. And why not? You know, these uh, soft touches are the ones uh, working for Cherry. 20 to 12, five points in this game for Abby Marano. You know, that's how much respect they have for her, you know. She's a transferee, obviously. She's new to Cherry, but automatic. You're going to be our captain. Yeah. <laughs> Well, she did say it in the VTR that we watched in the pregame as Purin Gaston scores off of a slide. Sabi ni Abby, 31 na siya. She's been doing this for a long time already. <laughs> so there really is a lot of wisdom on the mind that's to be shared from Abby. Uh, I, I'm for it. I mean, if you have an Abby Marano in your team, automatic captain. It's just that, you know, everyone else, the ones who have been with Cherry for a long time, they're all for it as well. Oh, That's oh. how much respect they have for her. Lali Rizosa just scored. And I, uh, I'd like to share something that I, I got from the Champions League. I talked to Alina Bicar and I asked her about the arrivals of uh, Aragala mm. and Abby Marano. She used the word nostalgic. <laughs> Dahil teammate na nila, 
itong uh, sina Abi and sina Ara as Cesc Robles scores. Sa training pa lang, napifeel na nila yung nostalgia because they're getting to watch the usual Abi moves and uh, Ara moves almost every day. And I'm sure, I mean, they're just enjoying, you know, the caliber of, uh, the caliber of an Ara Galang and an Abi Mariano joining your team. Yes. I mean, that's... That's huge. Speaking of Alina Bicar, here she is, returning for Cherry Tigo. Well, Isanza got to receive. Here's Suzanne. Ball return. Scramble. Raslan again. There was a check there and a point for Strong Group. Well, you like her down the lines. See, you're, you're right. No, their goal should be 17 first. Get to 17. Try to surpass the second set score. It's like a race to three here between <laughs> Cherry Tigo and Strong Group. Yes, if yes, you would yes. lean on to that goal, and the first point belongs to Strong Group. Race to three. Good uh, analogy. Yeah. Let's see if they can continue. Just two. <laughs> just two. I go to say just two. <laughs> just two. Oh, Valdezanzo serves that ball in. Alina, and that's short. Two straight points for strong group. Just one. <laughs> Just one. Because <laughs> that will definitely uh, reflect the progress of strong group if you would see it on the stat sheet. Yeah, yeah. Valdezanzo. Aragalang receives, Bicar sets, Adorador, not the best of sets there, a good chance, chance to counter. Sardenia couldn't score. Yerva to the right pin, off speed, well put up by Kaole. Eli, oh it's kind of tight, but it still works for Suzanne <laughs> Raslan. Goal, short term goal check. Yes. 17. But can they get past it in your strong group? Now, if you actually take a look at Coach Onyok right now, he's looking very happy. Yeah. Looking very proud of strong group. Another serve for Nikki. Yerba with the receive. Bikar to Shaya. Rastan keeping it alive. Chase for Kaole. Dolly from the back row. Ooh, <laughs> another point for strong group. It's just a four point lead. Can they actually pull off a miracle here? Why not? Why not? Yeah, nothing to lose. Substitution, Joy Mikagande will return for Alina Bikar. Mylene Pad return for Shaya Adorador. So Nikki Baldizanzo will continue to serve. Uh, you know why they brought in, Coach Kung Fu brought back Mylene Pad. Ooh, that's painful. A service error to end the 4-0 run for Coach Onyo Ketigan's group. But that was a great run. That yes, was a it good was. run for a strong group. And again, they're over the 17-point mark. Which means that their tally has been getting better and better in this game. Here's Cesc Robles. Ball put up by Likauko. And here's Sardinia. Robles keeping it alive. Back row for Mylene. It's long. Oh, Will challenge. there be a challenge? The buzzer did sound. Block touch challenge. Well, strong group. They're sure they didn't touch it. Now the feeling is so much different here in set number three. The body languages have uh, turned as well in favor of strong group. <laughs> You know, these, these players, obviously, you know, not known to a lot of fans, but you give them the opportunity and the confidence, that could be a different story altogether. The left hand slid left. Nah. <laughs> no chance there. Okay, so the challenge will be unsuccessful. Coach Kung Fu nods. They still have a four-point cushion. And they're only two points away from winning this matchup. Yeah. But all you can feel it. The strong group, they have momentum here. Here, Susan Raslan, who has been a spark plug with three points off the bench. Oh, good Sharp serve. serve. <laughs> Chased by Joymi. And it's a point off the block. Aragalang scores. 
Well, these, these veterans, again, heeding to the call of the team when they need a point. It's five match points for Aragalang, Pauline Gaston, and the rest of Cherry Tigo. Pauline serves. Chica receives. Chased by Kaole. Berzosa going cross. Nice dig by yeah. Robles. And it's Aragalang. The match will continue. Verzosa dug up. Kagande, Ara. Chance ball on the other end. They go to the quick. Kagande, back set, Abby. Oh, the rally, oh, oh, no more. That's it. There's a net touch. But everybody now giving a round of applause, not only to Cherry Tigo for winning this match, but strong group for giving one heck of an effort here in set number three. Yeah, well, you did say, you know, they, the scores were getting better, meaning they were getting better also throughout the match. So that's it for Cherry Tigo and SGA. Congratulations to the crossovers. Getting a sweep here for the second straight game after sweeping Capital One as well last Tuesday. 25 to 19. What an ender, Noreen. <laughs> it became actually more exciting eh, because we, we saw the rallies get longer and the challenge by strong group. So again, they can only get better from here. There's the progress, 12, 17, and 19 for SGA, but 25 across the board for Cherry Tigo. We'll be back. See the final score in favor of Cherry Tigo against Strong Group for your BBL Saturday. It is a for the crossovers. And we did see the change, the shuffle for Coach Kung Fu in terms of his lineup on the floor, which means exposure for literally everybody wearing white in today's matchup. And now let's turn you over to Kyla Castillo, who is with our best player of the game. That's right. Thanks, Mix. I'm now with our best player of the game, none other than Mylene Pa at Mama P of the Cherry Tigo crossover. So, Mama P, congratulations. Second set ka lang pinasok, no? But you were able to deliver quickly at na-feel agad namin yung iyong present. So, congratulations once again. Cherry on top realness as you guys officially become the first team to start a winning streak in the conference. So, how much of a more boost is this considering na choco mucho yung next yung kalaban? Uh, Siyempre yung, ano, yung pa, uh, past two games namin, malaking ano rin yung tulong sa amin. Like, uh, sa lalo-lalo <laughs> uh, lalo na sa pagpasok ng mga players, like yung decision making ng mga coaches. So, dapat lahat kami maging ready talaga. So, magagamit namin yun sa choco mucho game. All right, so for your first game, it was Capital One. And now for your second game, which you won, it's against Strong Group Athletics, both new teams. So I was wondering, what is it like facing teams that you had little to no knowledge of? Uh, what were your adjustments to win these games? Uh, actually, lahat naman ng, ano, lahat naman ng teams, lahat naman ng players, nire-respeto talaga namin. So uh, Capital One and SGA, talagang pinag-aralan din namin sila. No. Uh, Capital One, dapat pinag-aralan namin sila ongoing yung game. Pero yung SGA, siyempre, pinag-aralan pa rin namin kasi yun na nga. Uh, <laughs> Ayun na nga po, nire-respeto po talaga namin mga kalaban namin. Alright.
tonight. So mama pi, meron ka bang mga gustong batiin at pasalamatan mga lively Shelly Tigo fans na andito sa atin ngayon sa arena. Uh, hello po, Ma'am Ada, Sir Romel, sa ate ko po, kay, uh, ate Maricel, ate MJ, um, sa kay Rizano, below, sa family ko dyan sa Pangasinan, uh, lahat po ng mga sumusuporta sa Charity Go Crossover sa Lefty Pa at Family. <laughs> Sa parents po ni Robles, ayan, sa, ayan, kay, kay nanay po ni Swister, tsaka kay Camille Gal, ayan. Ayan, napakarami, but that's our best player of the game, Mylene Pa at Mama P of the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Now back to you, Mix and Marie. Thank you, Kyla. So, Mylene Pa led the way in terms of scoring with 10 points. EJ Lowry also had 9. Starting things off very well for Cherry Tigo. Uh, we also have to give a couple more shout-outs. How about Cesc Robles? Also. Seven points to her. You mentioned shout out to EJ Lauren because she was the top scorer in the first two sets, but then in the middle of the second set and the third set, it was all Mylene Paat and took over the leading scorer yeah. from Lauren. That's why she's our player of the game. The reason everybody played well, right? It's a uh, you know, cherry just showing us uh, that they're a more mature team, but. You, you heard it from uh, Mylene Pahate, they still studied strong group. They don't like say that, you know, because they're a new team, we're not gonna, we don't need no. The, the mindset of these teams right now is every team they're gonna take uh, seriously. So that's what happened today. And rightfully so, because strong group did impress a lot of people yeah, in today's yeah. matchup. Increased their score from one set to another. And let's see how much farther they can go here in the PBL conference. We have some uh, final stats to present to you guys before we wrap up this game. You mentioned the great distribution. Everybody, of course, able to score, except for the Liberos, of course, for Cherry Tigo. And you see the total numbers in terms of attacks. Look at that disparity, <laughs> a plus 24 against SGA. That made all the difference, you know, one thing that we always say that they will have to work on is trying to convert um, their attacks into points because that in, in itself you can see already um, it, it's a cherry ego win so these are the things you want to work on in your training. So Cherry remains on top after two games of play here in the PBL all Filipino Conference. SGA will go down to zero wins and two losses. But up next we have the single HD Spikers taking on the Akari Chargers. Two teams who will be making their first appearances in our AFC. Seth Domingo is now wearing an Akari jersey, joining Pippi Sharma uh, and a lot more stars here. How about Don Katindig representing Signal HD. She was very impressive by the way in the recently concluded BNBF Champions League. There you have it. It's Signal versus Akari coming up next. And thank you for joining us for Kyla Castillo and my partner Noringo. My name is Mix Gomez and we have two more games here in the Smart Araneta Coliseum.